Hello everybody, welcome back to Arthanex Plays Europa Universalis IVs Byzantium. We are in the middle of a war. Um, I don't think we have any pressing issues to worry about, so let's just get right back to it. Um, I'm hoping that this province falls before that one or that one so that we can force Trier out of the war. It should, but so far we have not been lucky. Yeah, they still won't go out of the war on their own. They have, they also have massive um, defensive bonuses. War exhaustion is getting there. All right, we will finally win the Siege of Aachen. Let's see if Trier will bow out of the war now. They will. I learned my mistake from last time. I'm going to go kill this army and then leave Trier's territory before I end the war. Otherwise, I'll get black flagged. because I can't wait to leave the territory because I only have four days and I can't risk that falling. Uh, will you give me money? You will. Now Bavaria is in this war. Alright, well, we have to go siege them, I guess. I think it's a Valpo state allied with them now. They are. They weren't at the start of this war. So they must have allied with them and then called them in. Which is major cheese, if you ask me. And then without the leader to the other province. So I might as well siege them both. Excellent. Oh, well, that's annoying. Um, let's refabricate those claims. Call this diplomat back in case we need to peace out. And let's see here. Where do I want to send this colonist? I do want to start colonize over here, but I think. Yeah, that's part of the Cape of Good Hope trade note. Every little bit helps. 
Oh, somebody's already colonizing here. Spain. Damn it, Spain. Well, at least it's not Portugal. Oh, well. That's, that's not great, but it's not the end of the world either. Um... How's this? <clears throat> Is this just about done yet? Yeah. Oh, this belongs to Portugal, huh? Interesting. Um, Alright, we got a few sea zones we still have to explore. Those are the big ones. But let's take care of that. And there's no super important provinces to colonize here, is there? I don't think so. Um, this is three, three, two. This has less of a native issue. Either of these. Um, <clears throat> so Johor is, oh, not. Neither of these guys is a protectorate. Um, I think I want to start with these provinces. So let's let's send a colonist there. And I should be safe in sending my transport fleet here, I think. for peace is still fairly low. I suppose you'll peace out, will you, Brittany? No. Peace out, though. No, not yet. All right, what do you say, Brittany? I've got your capital. Had enough? You have. Good. Um, you'll give me 15 bucks. I'll take it. Yeah, it's just Bavaria left. And then I'll be able to annex the Papal State. Every time I separate peace, it looks like it resets the call for peace. So it's not going away, but the fact that I'm able to continually um, peace out the Papal State's allies is at least limiting the damage here.
Interesting. I'm not sure how Poland got that province in the first place, but maybe it rebelled. gone down. <clears throat> well, when your capital falls, you'll peace out. <clears throat> uh, let's see, can I afford a new military tech yet? I feel like I should be close. Yeah, I'm close, but I'm not there yet. Um, should I take another idea? I'm tempted. Can't believe Austria hasn't pieced out with France yet. Can't imagine what they're possibly trying to take. Um. Really? Still hasn't fallen? I think I need all these leaders. This is probably my worst leader here. This is the only one with siege. 433. Uh, 433. You know what? Um, I think I'm done with my explorer. And I guess I'll keep the other two leaders for now. Peace offer from France. Hold that thought, France. Accept your peace offer, France. Just in case, I'm gonna peace out the Papal State first. Okay. Oh, I don't have enough diplomatic power. I didn't think it would cost me diplomatic power because. I, uh, I, because of my, because of my, cl um, CB that I use.
well. A hundred diplomatic power. I can vassalize them for fifty. If I want the papal state as a vassal. Which I don't think I really do. Hmm. Just take Ferrara. I don't really want to do that though. Dang it. All right, France finally peaced out. Um, well, I can switch this back. That would give it to me a lot faster. I guess I really don't need diplomatic power except for that one situation though. But the call for peace is going to get kind of out of control if I don't peace out. So even though it sucks... Yeah, I'm going to switch it back. So now I need 74 divided by 7. So about a, a little less than a year, 11 months. All right, new colonial nation. Let's call it um hmm Call it, uh, hmm, Arthanexia. Sure, let's call it Arthanexia. And let's send you to where you might actually do some good. Possibly have to deal with reborn zealots in these provinces. Can't invest in military technology yet. to let's see ditch that general so you can command this army and you can command this army and fire you Portugal <coughs> embargoed me you know I should probably do that too Oh, except I'm not rivaling them currently. 
can embargo Castile. I might do that. Uh, let's see. Is 2,000 troops going to be enough? I think it will be, actually. Looks like Portugal's colonizing that. And these are all tropical now, right? Yeah, I think they are. Let's see, how's my relations look? <clears throat> uh, let's top off Austria. And fabricate a claim. Probably in range. Nope, not quite in range of supply ships. Um, yeah, I can ignore their demands. One year of disorder should be fine. Up to fifty. Still gaining six admin power a month. That's not too bad, <clears throat> but it sucks, and I'm gonna have to have thirty years of diplomacy focus because I screwed up my diplomatic power and didn't realize I needed a hundred to annex this. Yeah, that's my colonist arriving. And here's Spain. Going west. Now Portugal started colonizing up here. Well, hopefully, I can still get in here and get a colonial nation in here. I'm waiting for this to finish first. Uh, let's see. I think it's time to rebuild my trade fleets. Um, so let's build 20 light ships. Let's go ahead and upgrade my military tech. Falling a little bit too far behind. Yeah, most of everybody else is at 18, and I just upgraded to 16. Not going to make that mistake again.
Where is my next uh, global settler increase? Level 15. Yeah, not for a little while. Now that I have a colonial nation, global tariffs actually does something for me. Uh, and speaking of tariffs, um, what's their liberty desire? Does it not show it to me? over here yeah let's increase their tariffs oh that costs admin points um, all right well I'll do it twice more after I core these two provinces Like I only got four there. Oh, right, because because of this. So that's eighty-eight, ninety-two, ninety-six, one hundred. Four more months. Interested in the important centers of trade in Malacca. And there's two, I believe. I'm not going to worry so much about. Or is there three? Is Brunei still part of Brunei is still part of that trade node? So there's three. So I'm not going to worry so much about these two trade nodes. I mean, I'll take what I can, but I am if we can dominate trade in Malacca, that's a long-term goal of mine as well. Um, And two of those trade pro of those important center trade pro provinces are currently controlled by this country, Pasai. I have to be careful. As soon as this province finishes, I have to make it a trade company so that these guys can't westernize. Should be continuing to work on that. 
Uh, when does my trace with Kara expire? Six more years. So the question is, should I go to war with Lithuania? Probably. Uh, they're just allied with Poland. The other option would be to attack Tuscany. Tuscany is now allied with Milan. That, does that mean... Finally. If I declared war against them, every village is sealed twice. So, I mean, if I declared war against them, that, um, Milan would not be a co-belligerent, or would they still be? They would still be a co-belligerent, and they're still allied with Spain, right? Yeah. All right. Well. Looks like it's going to be Lithuania then. Um, Austria, I would like military access, please. Okay. Um, Hmm, I gotta think about this. Oh yeah, I still have a merchant there. All right, never mind, I don't have to think about it. Go back to protecting trade in Alexandria. If anything, um, I need seventy-five percent of the force limit. I'm probably not going to get there because my force naval force limit is uh, one hundred and forty-one. So that would be. Um, 25, 35, it'd be like, let's see, 35, 70, 105 ships, probably around 105, 110 ships. So I probably don't need, probably not planning on building that many just yet. So I guess I won't take that mission. Um, but let's go ahead and build 20 more light ships. Maybe I'll send this fleet down here to the Cape of Good Hope.
Um, all right. Austria's topped off. How's Russia look? Russia could use some topping off. Um, actually, October sixteen thirty one. That won't finish in time. Go ahead and just top off Russia. All right, how long will it take to core these two provinces? Why don't you go stand there? It is going to take. Three years. I still have no diplomatic power. I think I'm going to wait a little bit for my war exhaustion to go down before I attack. Well, on the other hand, I can spend diplo power to reduce my war exhaustion because I won't need it to peace out with Lithuania. All I'm taking from them is land. And they're just allied with they're just allied with Poland and I'm not taking any land from Poland. Um What's how big is Lithuania's army? It's pretty formidable the last time I fought them. Twenty-eight thousand. The force limit is thirty-five. We have the same tech level. Let's go ahead and um, do it. Russia should join me in this war, and therefore it should be pretty easy. Yeah, Russia will join me in this war. Oh, Austria is there. Austria is the defender of the Catholic faith. And they would jump in. going to get into a war with Austria, which means I don't think I need, no, I, <laughs> I think I'm going to have to wait before I go to war with Lithuania. Austria is in what war is this? Oh, they got called in by Trier. 
France is fighting Milan. Looks like I'm going to probably have to wait until I go back to war with Kara. Um, which is in five more years. On the plus side, I'm about to finish annexing Georgia, integrating Georgia. I don't really care about my spy defense. December 1628. Um, I don't have any more claims to fat. Oh, I do. All right, go ahead. Um, put relations over here. do that. Hmm. I have to think about tra taking trade as my next idea group, I think. I think I'm going to need the merchants. Okay, uh, we finished this. Um, so let's go colonize this. The other one, I, I could also take expansion, but I kind of want to keep increasing my admin tech. All right, 
right, so with my diplomatic reputation leader, yeah, that's still going to get done even though I have the penalty currently. Um, awesome, and I annexed Georgia. And I'm actually going to send you all the way over here. So that army needs a little boost. And did I get a navy? I did not get a navy. All right, but my land is now contiguous, which makes my name significantly larger in font size. Um, So I'll have to figure out a way to get Italy contiguous, although that's going to involve eventually attacking Austria, but definitely no rush on that one. Alright, well that's where I'm going to leave this episode. If you enjoyed watching, um, I'll, I'll quickly do this so I don't forget. If you enjoyed watching, please consider uh, liking the video or subscribing to the channel. In either case, I hope you have a terrific day.